James Vasquez is in a suit now, but says he's a lot more comfortable in uniform. The suit is for an official fundraiser for Ukraine. The fatigues come out when he gets back to Ukraine in August. I'm just so used to being over there and hearing air raid sirens and you know being shot at and shelled at every day. It's um, it's almost it's almost weird being back. James made the decision to head to Ukraine to fight on the very first day of the war. I will be fighting with our soldiers, your soldiers. The only reason why I wasn't there on the 25th is because my I didn't have a I didn't have an active passport. I had to get an emergency passport. That's the reason why I showed up there on March 14th. All packed up and ready to go. Leaving tonight. Vasquez says the decision to head to Ukraine was an easy one. His grandmother, born in Latvia told him a lot of stories about Russian soldiers. And my whole family on my grandmother's side got slaughtered by Russians. Every single one. She was the only survivor member. She was made to um, work in a, in, a, in a sweatshop, you know, sewing, sewing Russian uniforms. Now, I don't know if you guys know what this is behind me, but that's a Russian tank. Just days after Vasquez arrived in Ukraine, he was on the front lines in the Kiev region. His unit liberated villages where the Russian military had left deadly traps for civilians. That, was that is photo. meant to kill people. That is uh, your photo. Not for us. Uh, that is meant, you know, for civilians. And that's the crazy part of it. You know, there's a string tied to that glass. When you open a cabinet, the glass breaks. The pin is already pulled from the grenade, so um, the grenade will just go off. James serves mainly with Ukrainians. He is calling his comrades brothers and says there is no language barrier at all. And a lot of them speak broken English as well. So, you know, there, there is some degree of, uh, you know, an ability to communicate with each other. From the Kiev region, his unit was moved to Donbass. While in Ukraine, Vasquez began raising money for Ukrainian fighters. Now he's working with the American charity foundation Ripley's Heroes. We're not buying ammunition, we're not buying guns, we're not doing... It's more like protective, you know, body armor, uh, Kevlar, um, you know, oh, drones, um, you know, things that we need in theater. Vehicles are, are a big deal. Vasquez is back in the U.S. to sell everything he owns here and then return to Ukraine. He says Ukraine has become his second home and he would like to stay and rebuild it after the victory. For Lesya Bakalets in Washington, NRI's VOA News.